What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back to my unit review series for Fire Emblem Heroes. Today I'm going to be reviewing New Year's Corrin and in this series I review a unit and tell you guys how good that unit is and what are some of his best contents options. I also go over their teammates that you should run with that unit and some counters that you should watch out for. So New Year's Corrin is a free to play unit that you can get from the second mini Tempest trial as a reward. Him and Clive are the only Tempest Trial rewards who are not sword units. So let's take a look at his stats. His HP stat is not very high to abuse something like Panic Ploy and it's on the lower side for a defensive archer. Even some offensive archers like Klein and Takumi have got more HP than Karin. His base attack is 32 which is same as George and Takumi and 32 base attack is pretty decent for an archer. With his default weapon which has got 12 might he can reach 44 attack. His speed is quite mediocre at base 30 and it doesn't really help him double much. He can only double some tanks and some slow armor D-nets and avoid getting doubled by those slow armor D-nets and that is pretty much it. His defense is highest for an archer at 34, it's even one point higher than Halloween Jacob so he can certainly take physical hits quite well and he also serves as a pretty good brave lane check with bow breaker. Because of his amazing defense and pretty decent attack, he can be a good candidate for running close counter skill. His res is very poor and any mage or dragon will be able to do a number on him. Coupled with his mediocre speed, you really want to keep him out of the range of dragons and mages. Having this low res is not a good thing in a meta game where dragons are this strong. His weapon is Hamaya Plus, which has got drive defense 1 and drive res 1 built into it, so it's a support weapon. And it's pretty good for a defensive unit like Corrin and his slotty skill is attack defense plus 2 which is not really the best skill but still it's useful for budget sets. His slotty skill is spur defense res 2 which is a pretty good spur skill and it does synergize well with his weapon and with his weapon it enables him to support adjacent allies for plus 5 defense and plus 5 res and it's also a spur support so it cannot be panic ployed. And if that wasn't enough, he does come with Rally Defense and Res, which stacks up with his weapon and his slot C skill. And with this, he can give an ally plus 8 defense and plus 8 res, which is really, really good. So his default kit is quite synergetic. And if you're just going to be using him as an Arena Assault unit, then this default kit is pretty good and low investment. And his rating is 151, which is, of course, boosted like all other units we have recently got. Having 151 rating allows him to be in the bin of 150 to 155 BST, similar to Fei. And if you guys not know, arena scoring is actually calculated in bins of 5. So a unit with 151 BST will score same as a unit with 154 BST. Karin might look underwhelming at first as he is pretty much a variant of Leon with no IVs, no merge potential, less attack and more defense. Leon's higher attack lets him run a better Brave Bow set and compared to Garden, Garden just has a better physical bulk than Karin because of his higher HP. But as a free unit, Karin is pretty alright. And if you have got other archers then sure you're not going to be investing into him that much and you don't really have a reason to but as a free 5 star unit he can be useful in arena assault and squad assault with very low investment and his defensive buffs can be quite useful in those modes. I'm actually quite happy that we got him as a free archer so now I can use him in my free to play guides and like I said the defensive buffs he can give is certainly useful against inflated enemies and uh, let's take a look at his best skeletons options. I'll start with a budget set. It's for the people who want to use him and not really invest into him too much. By running Bow Breaker, Corrin can check a plus and merge Brave Bow Brave Lin that has got horse emblem buffs and then one round kill her. For special bonfire makes great use of his defense and gives him 18 points of additional damage whenever he triggers that and distant defense is not needed to survive Brave Lin but it's a good option on him and the newly released quick repose seal can also be run on him. If you plan on refining his weapon then I would suggest you to go with the defense refinement which helps him take on more physical threats and also increases his bonfire damage. The second set for him is the standard Brave Bow set. For his slot B you want to run Sword Breaker so that he can one run KO pretty much every sword unit in the game other than few really bulky ones like Arden, Drog, Eldigan and Sigurd. With a Brave Bow set his lack of IVs really hurt him because you would usually run a plus attack IV on a set like this. When he's gonna be caught attacking a sword unit he will always proc bonfire on the last hit which is pretty fatal most of the time. I would not recommend you to run life and death on him because even with that 
He's not able to quad attack a lot of units and it just ruins his defense. The third set is his Desperation and Brash Assault set which lets him quad attack range units and units who run distant counter. With this set he can attack 4 times consecutively and on the last set he will proc bonfire. Reciprocal 8 is a good option for him to get into the Brash Assault range and I would suggest you to run this set with an enemy phase unit so that Karin can easily use his Reciprocal 8 on that ally and get into the Brash Assault range. The fourth set is the true set which makes use of his great defense stat. Like I said before, because of his defense, he's a pretty good candidate to inherit close counter too if you're passionate about building him. Sling Bow Plus with a defense refinement and Ignis help him a ton with his damage output and with the newly released Sacred Seal Quick Repost, he can also use Guard Slot B skill to prevent enemies from charging up their special. You want to use Ignis as it's better than Bonfire for this set and it becomes a 3 turn cooldown special with Sling Bow, meaning that if the enemy can double attack him in the enemy phase then he can always proc Ignis in that same round. The fifth set is a guard bow set which a defensive archer like him can certainly run so he can have triple distant defense with this set and this set tries to fix his horrible resistance in a way. So with triple distant defense he can reach 52 defense and 39 res in the enemy phase against range units and it makes him a fantastic tank. But this set doesn't have much offensive power and I would say that Sling Bow set with close counter is a much better defensive set for him. The sixth and the last set is for Karin Enthusiast who want to fix his mediocre speed with Summoner Support, Fury, Speed Refined, Sling Bow and Speed Plus 3 Sacred Seal. He can hit 40 speed which is good and if you give him Hone Speed Support from an ally he can double quite a lot of units and not getting double himself too much as well. Renewal has got good synergy with Fury but Quick Repost can also be run but it does have synergy issues with Fury. If ever a stand skill gets released that gives you plus 6 speed in the enemy phase then you might want to run that over Fury and that way he can reach 43 speed. Karin can only get plus 1 merge as of right now and if you do merge him then he gets plus 1 to his HP and plus 1 to his attack which is actually good and getting plus 1 to his attack is actually quite nice. Now let's take a look at some of the good teammates that you can run with him. Distant counter units or mixed tanks work best with him if you're gonna be running his budget Hamaya set. And Fiorn plus Karin is something which every player can try so I would definitely suggest you to use that combo in the mini Tempest trial going on right now. It's actually pretty amazing because of the defense and res buffs Karin can give to Fiorn. And Halloween Jacob is also a great mixed tank that can use those buffs pretty well especially if he's running a guard bow set and he can be really really annoying for your enemies to face. And then distant counter units like Zelgius and Hector appreciate that defense and res buff as they are known to be frontline units. Corrin's res is pathetic and like I said before it's not a good thing in a metagame where dragons are running rampant. So Deirdre and Julia in particular are fantastic teammates with him because not only they can take care of a lot of dragons but they can also check Reinhardt for Corrin. Newly released Micaiah also works great with Corrin because Corrin does struggle versus armored units and it's hard for him to get past them so Thanitome helps with that and Micaiah can also check Reinhardt. Karin works well with these low defense units because he can cover their weakness and take on physical hits and not to mention also take on brave line which can just destroy them. Even with his high defense he will struggle against common high defense armor units like Zelgius and Hector as he's not able to do too much damage to them and they just hit quite hard especially Zelgius with his black luna and against a unit like winter Tharja it's gonna be extremely hard for him. High attack mages like Delphia, Nino and Reinhardt can easily one shot him without giving him any kind of chance to do anything. Dragons will hardly take any kind of damage as most of the time they are running distant defense secret seal and steady breath as well so they are not going to be taking too much and they will destroy Karin very easily. Raventum users is an obvious one for a bow user and if you run cancel affinity then still these Raventum units do often pack bow breaker so that could be troublesome and uh, Karin is definitely the worst new year unit that we have got compared to Azura, Takumi and of course Camilla but still because he's a free unit you can definitely make use of him in squad assault and arena assault and it's never bad to get a free 5 star unit. Unfortunately these units are pretty common in tier 20 arena so you do need a good team that can support Karin for him to function properly and Karin will support his teammates as well in return by providing them with defensive spur buffs and checking brave lane. 
So that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe so that you do not miss out on more Fire Emblem Heroes content, which I'm gonna be uploading in future. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.